Hello again, this is Michael Heller. I'm glad to be back with you. What I'd like to do this session is talk a little bit about the criteria that we have developed on the farm from the experiences of the farm over the last many years. And we've come up with six basic criteria we use in our decision making. And I should mention that when I say we, I farm with a young farm couple that is absolutely wonderful. And together we have developed these criteria over time. One of the first criteria for us is something that I got from Gideon Stoltzfus, a friend who asked me to visit his farm in Lancaster County. Now, Gideon is part of the Amish community in Lancaster. When I was visiting him, um, I was asking, well, how do you decide as a community whether you're going to adopt certain pesticides or certain technologies? He said, well, you know, it's very interesting. We have one major criterion that we use, and that is, does this decision or this adoption of, of a certain technology, does it build community or does it weaken community? That is our key criterion. And we have adopted that for our farm because we do believe it is extremely important. And this becomes particularly important as we think about marketing because marketing is one way that we very much interact with the community of consumers. However, we don't limit it to our marketing. When we talk about community, we are also talking very much about the farm community. And here you see Carrie, who is part of the young farm couple that I work with. And we try to make sure that everything we do builds the, our own little farm community on the farm. During the summer months, we have additional people who work with us, particularly in the vegetables. So our community becomes about seven people. And so decisions become very important, and we try to make decisions collectively. That community also includes the animals on the farm. And so we hold discussions with them frequently. And when we talk about the animals on the farm, we would also include the wildlife. They become one of the elements of community that we try to be sure that we're building. A second criterion is economics. And this, of course, is an essential one. And the only problem people generally have with using economics as a criterion is sometimes it becomes the dominant and, in some cases, domineering criterion. This can lead to problems. So economic sustainability is essential in all of our decisions. We weigh it along with the other criteria that we have. A third key criterion for us is, does this decision or this adoption of a new technology, does it give us, the farmer, more control or less control of what we are doing? It may not sound like an obvious one, but I'll use the example here of a good friend of mine who's a poultry farmer. And she made the decision to get into poultry farming because of economics. Promised a lot of money by a large poultry processor. And what she has found is after investing in a house that cost about $125,000 and houses about 25,000 chickens, which are grown from start to finish in about a seven week period, she has very little control over any of her decisions. The company tells her how much feed to give, when to open the shades on the side of the building, when to turn on the ventilation, how much water should be going through the watering system. She has very, very little decision making to do on her own. We don't want that on our farm. So control for the farmer is a key element. Another criterion is control for the consumer do the things that we're choosing to do through our marketing allow the consumer more choices or fewer? For instance, we sell our vegetables through a CSA, which I will talk about in the next session, but shareholders come and pick up their vegetables on the farm. These shareholders tell us what they like about the shares and what they don't like. So we modify our shares very much based on the input we get from the shareholders who really are a partner in the farm operation with us. So giving consumers more of a choice and more control of their own decision making is critical. Another key question we always ask ourselves is, does it use more energy or does it use less energy? 
may not seem like a big one, and often it is an overlooked one. We could harvest most of the feed for our animals and feed them in the barn. Much better for us to let the cows do the harvesting. They also spread the manure for us, for the most part. This is key. This fall, as I record this, I have a decision to make right now. It's a very, very dry time for us. I'm getting ready to cut hay. This is our third cutting of hay. This is hay that normally, when I bale it, I would sell it to some of the people in the local area who have horses. This year, because it is so dry, the hay is not grown very well. And I think what we will choose to do is take the time and energy to put up some electric fence around the hay fields and let the cows harvest it for us. Because to drive the tractor across the fields, mowing the hay, tedding the hay, raking the hay, and baling the hay will take a lot more energy and will not be warranted in the big picture of all the other criteria, including the economics. So when we weigh all the criteria, the energy one suggests this year we probably aren't going to cut hay. So when we weigh the energy criterion along with the others, it suggests that this year, this fall, because of the drought, we probably won't cut hay. We'll let the cows do the work for us. And our sixth criterion, if I've counted them right, I'm not certain about that, is working with ecological systems. So looking at ecological environmental questions. This is talking about soil building. Are we building soil or are we depleting soil? Water quality, or what we, is what we're doing affecting water quality in a positive or negative way? Here you see the cover crops that we're growing in the field of broccoli. These cover crops are using natural processes of nitrogen fixation to build the soil and it allows us not to use commercial fertilizers so it's protecting the water quality because synthetic fertilizers leach much more readily than the biologically fixed nitrogen which is stored in organic matter. So the sixth criterion being ecological environmental processes are we working with ecological processes or are we fighting against them is a key element in our decision making. Collectively, these six get us to what we hope is working more and more towards what will be a sustainable farming system on our farm. It's not a finished process, it's always a work in progress.